Each airport in the national airspace system has unique and distinct characteristics, which can sometimes lead pilots to use the wrong surface in taxi, takeoff, or landing operations. Let's take a look at some of these tricky areas from the flight deck. Westchester County Airport is a medium-sized multi-use airport located in White Plains, New York. It is situated almost 20 miles northeast of LaGuardia Airport and the rest of the New York City metropolitan area. It is also located beneath the New York Class Bravo airspace. This location makes it an attractive alternative to the heavily congested and more restrictive airspace surrounding the New York City airports. The traffic mix includes air carriers, business jets, and all aspects of the general aviation community. There is a robust medevac operation which utilizes the airport as well. Numerous flight schools located at the airport add to the diverse mix of pilot experience and aircraft capability. This mix makes HPN a challenging airport for controllers and pilots alike. The airport configuration consists of two intersecting runways, the longer runway 1634 and the shorter runway 1129. A complex taxiway system provides access to all parking areas, FBOs, businesses, and hangars located on the north and south sides of the airport. While not having any official hotspots, there are several issues that pilots need to be aware of when traveling to White Plains for the first time. Tower will often instruct arriving VFR traffic to approach over the Tappan Zee Bridge if approaching from the west, or over the city of Stamford if arriving from the east. This helps the tower separate the arriving VFR traffic from the predominantly IFR jet traffic, utilizing runway 1634. Pilots have mistaken the approach end of runway 34 for the approach end of runway 29er. This occurs primarily when the aircraft has entered the left downwind for runway 29er and sees the approach end of runway 34 first. Verifying aircraft heading against the runway cleared to operate on should help pilots avoid this type of mistake. Another related issue concerns aircraft on the left downwind for runway 29er and instructed by the tower to keep the downwind over the numbers for runway 34. While this may sound odd and may be a tight downwind leg, the tower is ensuring that the downwind traffic does not conflict with landing traffic on runway 34. A typical issue seen at airports with intersecting runways concerns aircraft landing on one runway, in this case runway 34, and turning off onto the intersecting runway without a proper clearance, in this case runway 1129er. Pilots are reminded, no matter how convenient a runway may look as a turnoff, a specific clearance is required to utilize any runway, active or not. When HPN is landing runways 16 and 11, Land and Hold Short Operations, or LASSO, may be in effect. If you are issued a LASSO clearance, remember you as the pilot in command can reject that clearance if there is any doubt about complying. However, the time to do so is not on short final. Let the controller know you are unable to comply with this clearance with plenty of time to allow ATC to come up with another traffic plan. On the topic of holding short of runways, when ILS approaches are in progress to runway 16 and 34, taxiing aircraft may be instructed to hold short of the ILS critical area. Pilots need to be familiar with the taxiway markings for this type of instruction. Failure to hold short at the proper location can result in causing a missed approach for aircraft utilizing the ILS. Additionally, if you plan to do a run-up at the ILS hold line, Advise the tower so they can make alternate plans for the other aircraft departing. When taxiing via Taxiway Alpha, aircraft need to ensure that they do not cross runway 1129er without clearance. The runway crosses the taxiway at an oblique angle, which may contribute to this hazard. Remember, you must have a clearance to cross any runway, active or not. As with many airports in the National Airspace System, HPN is currently undergoing long-term construction projects. Pilots are reminded to check airport notams and construction notices as part of their pre-flight planning. And finally, with no less than six FBOs and numerous businesses and hangars located around the airport, 
It is helpful to advise the tower of your destination on the airport, either while airborne or on the initial contact with ground control. This allows the tower to get you to your destination on the ground as efficiently as possible. Keep in mind that due to traffic or other airport issues, your most efficient route may not be the most direct. Being aware of the challenges at HPN will help pilots make better decisions, and along with the ATC tower, keep the operations safe and efficient. We hope this short video helps you prepare for your trip to the Westchester County Airport. It's always better to know before you go.